Welcome to EG, a platformer, metroidvania, shooty kind of thing, and it has quite a bit of story to it for a free game. Anyway, I'm Chaotic Law, and I'll be playing this as part of my new series now. Now, for Gart or Over, I thought, hey, why not try and find another game that I really, really like? And yeah, EG was the one. Lego looks a little interesting today. This is a lack of a proper looking gay, but that's the whole idea of it, I guess. Anyway, figures I might as well get started right away. Um, I actually already recorded a run of this, but hey, might as well try to do it properly and not mess up the commentary as such. Who knows, maybe the microphone's not positioned correctly. We'll find out. I'm no good at this game. And this is the new computer, so none of my saves have come through as such. So we'll just start a new game on normal. Okay, now we're moving on, and I guess we're hearing some scientists. Don't think we've got enough. Not enough time, it seems. Uh, obsessed about perfection. People aren't very happy or cheery or anything, and that's an interesting whiteboard marker there. On the whiteboard over there, they look like there's various turrets and helmets, maybe? Oh, everyone has to go to the safe room now. Oh dear, that did not sound like things went down well. And this is EG. Uh, been asleep for a while. Quite a while. Okay. Oh, speaker. <laughs> Ah, oh. our speaker's our brother. And they're apparently microphones. <laughs> you shouldn't talk. But you end up talking anyway. I wonder how they translated most of this stuff. I mean, humans and aliens in general. And they killed nearly everyone inside and stuck in this control room. They've invaded the complex. And it's been six months. A lot of time has passed. And we are a cyborg. So we get yelled at for a little bit. Just to get our heads together. Man, I guess we kept on going over and over again. Our goal? Convince them to leave. <sighs> Alright, and we enter the game. Of course, there's logbooks and stuff. Nothing too big. You get gain bits of story from it. And I guess that's where we looked through earlier. Kicking down this door is 
not happening. So I'm gonna try to be sensible about it. This this game's pretty serious. But there is are a few humorous moments, which I might show off. Of course you can break boxes simply by crouching when you land on them, or just kicking them. It is a taser nanogun, fitted with a shotgun nano weapon. You can also you can use it to fire continually or just once. And reloading. As you see, it's displayed twice, once above our ca character's head, and one in the bottom left corner. Rather slow, with a burst machine gun. Don't run into him or try to keep him. Just use our gun and duck behind crates. Huh. Our actions do influence the outcome of the game in a subtle manner, although the story is very much the same. There are slight differences for how we play. And we have invincibility frames and nano fields. And we can break glass. Rocket launchers with our blue colored soldiers. They. Okay, be wary of rockets. And leveling up. Capable of assimilating nanofields like red and green ones. And we have a personal one, and the blue nanofields add to nanototal. And we can level up. But I guess we can upgrade our health a little. What happened? Ah, there we go. Health level 2. Point. Just because we get points doesn't mean we can just instantly increase our attributes. We have to find the appropriate station. Now, other stations attack for nano weapon firepower. Assimilation for absorbing and increasing ammo capacity as well. May or may not come in handy. Strength, the power of our kick. Tears and start to assimilate new weapons. And Kumato are different weapons. Most use ammunition, but shotgun has an infinite. And that text was cut off the end of the screen there for some reason. And this is a shield door, which we can break down. These are tears and lifts, which are much faster than our usual variants. They're pretty quick. And that looks like a storage room, although we don't have the strength to get through there. And that's a teleporter over there. Don't be surprised when I talk to speakers like this. And this gun's pretty darned heavy, but getting used to it. Survival comes first. Shooting them doesn't make it evil. Well, does it? But, teleported to the right. Used materials access. We need to practice, even if you are weak. Alright, level up. Yeah, we're not that. She doesn't react well to killing, especially in the early stages. Let's increase our strength, so we can go ahead back to the start. And we'll take a look at that door that we couldn't get through earlier. Yeah. All these scientists are dead, and no pulse. Alright, logs. Sonia Plate, accomplishing survival, but then deciphering language and cracking their logbooks. Well, I guess you can achieve a lot in six months. Oh. And even a readable font, and then we have us. Okay. 
advising to throw away emotions early on, and there's no time for much. So, mobility is more the focus rather than armor. Ah, oh, this must have been an early log. Now this log here is Becker, whoever he may have been. Supplies are running low, Dan is stuck in the control room, and... Yeah. The music's great, by the way. This is the high quality soundtrack, which I... It's worth the extra download. Oh, Sonia again. Nano weapons. Just gotta reflect what kind of effect rather than, you know, direct translations. Ah. Oh. And even combining nano weapons. Cutting cheese with a toothbrush. the majority of wild species they keep referring to. And yes, the Tazen do resemble humans for some reason or another. And... a poster. Ah, the emotions come back again. She's not happy about the whole thing. And yes, I. this is from the first playthrough, which is why it says poster already unlocked. Otherwise I'd say something different! Ah, oh, and Dan... Dan's own logs. So on we go. So, back through we go again. And, yeah, we'll keep advancing. No need to waste any time for this. Just smash some good old crates along the way. Hmm, that's odd. It keeps on locking up for a few moments. Oh. I have to look into that, because that's not what happened when I first recorded. So, I guess we're going right now. Hmm, not really in our way, so no point attacking it. Huh, we have a soldier report on humans. The sentient race we found on this planet is called the humans. Don't wanna know how they found that out, and don't wanna know. Ah, a foot soldier. It's too difficult to think about the higher end of things. Unsorted materials. Hmm. I guess we can understand it to an extent. We have a point, but there's no particular use for it right about now. Another level. Hop away. Keep that door down. Ooh, and there's a ribbon-like thing down here. And now another scout's report about the storage area. Ah, oh, so confused. Just leap through them. And down we go. Shield door done. Duck away behind this table here, which handily provides us a lot of cover. For some reason. Smash some more glass. We're almost at another level. Probably take one more soldier to do it, or just one of those fields again. You need to taste and start up free to handle the nano weapon. It's up to you if you want it now. Mm, 
They kind of do look like humans, but they're not people. According to Dan, Dan is always right. Whatever. He can't surely be right all the time. Though he has been out here six months, so he might have a very well different opinion of the Taser than us. Another patrol report. No danger present, really. Must be a while ago, because it's a real wreck right about now. Might as well increase our health stat a little bit. Leave a couple of points in reserve. Oh, we're at maximum level for this sector. I guess that's a limitation. Guess we may just keep going. And this is another one. What's a pause menu? <laughs> if you ever forget about using your weapons, enemies, or abilities, check the pause menu by pressing escape. If this is some new helmet interface upgrade. Ah, <laughs> oh, soldiers keeping it from the scouts. <laughs> Handily, you can do it just like that. And yes, we have some information and statistics. Eight kills, one damage. Okay, that's pretty good. And we're at five out of five levels. Anyway, about those ceiling lamps. Yeah, what about them ceiling lamps? That's right, you don't answer to us. And we exit. Alright, not too bad. Sector 1 complete. And I guess that will be where I leave off for the time being. Took much more time in going through the detail of what goes on in Sector 1, unlike my previous video. Anyway, I'm Chaotic Law, and until next time, take care everyone.